In Season 1, Episode 2, we showcase a couple of games, then I will show you what we are currently using for our tactics. If you enjoy football management content and want to see more videos like this one, then hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment below, even if it's just to say hello. Hello! Come and join us as we start at the bottom of the English divisions and try and get us to that promised land of the Premier League. We have no experience and we are a Sunday League footballer. Our first game of the episode, it's the FA Trophy second round. The one that we're going to watch, it's for replay because we drew for first game. Can this be our first win as St. Albans manager? Let's go have a look. So I have them with the ball. Halls are playing from for defence. Nope, they lose it straight to us. McKenna gets the ball. Lancashire to Sol. Goodard. Jeffers. Wilshire. Oh, goalkeeper should have done better there. But we get the goal, and guess what? We get the win, our first win as St. Albans manager. Amazing. Just quickly look at the stats. A lot of yellow cards there. That's probably just from us pressing, trying to get that possession. We did get 58% possession. 17 shots to their five. On target, we got four to their none. They didn't even get a shot on target. Good passes completed, 89%. Good XG. We dominated the game. We deserve the win. Kieran Wiltshire. We spoke about him last game, of performing well when we played against Hungerford, 8.3, player for match, amazing. He got for goal, Sean Jeffers got for assist, got 7.3. And then our whole team did well. That is our first win. So as promised from my last video, here are my tactics. I play a 4-3-3. I guess as we get better in these positions, is that I would probably play two ball playing defenders. Because of the quality, I think it's just better that we have one as a normal central defender and one pushing forward and trying to outlet it. And I'll play my better passing defender in that spot and then we've got wing backs not attacking non automatic on support DLP he's just sitting there behind from midfield and for attacking playing just pinging balls and basically getting things started and then I've literally for a bit of defensive cover box, 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 box. inside forward I used to love doing inside forward inside forward and just having them both in but what I found is that you just cluster the middle and you're not actually creating gaps so what a winger does on the right will just make him go out wide and probably make him stick to a byline just to create that gap for your DOF to find those channels and then for inside forward is going to be able to come in inside behind we're playing narrow because we want to be a possession holding team we don't want for opposition to have the ball we don't want to give them a sniff we want to hold that ball slowly find opportunities and from that much shorter really low tempo I only chose low tempo because the quality of players that we have in non-league I don't think you can play a high tempo correct me if I'm wrong if you've done a high tempo formation and been successful in a non-league team let me know work ball into a box and uh, that's an instruction that you can probably change depending how the game's going if you can't find for space because they're all just playing 10 men behind the ball and then obviously dribbling less and wing backs are going to be all for dribbling a winger we only have one winger and again i'm playing it short passing so why would i want them to run upfield and then they've got no one to pass them the usual in transition of football manager at the moment is counter press counter uh, and then i've got my goalkeeper to distribute quickly in possession and distribute to my center back i will think about playmaker because i do have two but we'll see how the center backs go and then i've got offside trap don't know why i decided to use offside trap to be honest just experimental so we're playing standard standard defense width standard and then we'll trigger our press much more often and prevent short goalkeeper distribution what this formation is all about is play narrow try and provide width to try and create those channels gaps to get the channels in and then press 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 get that ball so that's my tactics we go into another game against oxford city we are home oxford city are currently in 10th place and obviously we are still bottom of the table as you saw from our last game in the fa trophy we got our first win can we get our first league win so it's a 22nd minute just gone jeffers with ball nil strikes it are oh, posting in great strike that puts us to 1-0. Oxford City's got the ball. No, I forgot who we was playing. Saunders, good crossing. Ah, oh, good header. Got in front of the defender. It's now 1-1. One, one. Right, we've got the ball. It's on for 78th minute. Oh, no, that wasn't a ball. That was a fair goalkeeper straight to us. Through to nil. 
and we get the winner 2-1 Joe Neal has come in and formed two goals 8.6 player for match let's have a look at his stats 21 years old finishing 13 first arch 13 heading 13 pretty much free key stats that you want from a striker not bad technique at this level and how did the team do so not that many yellow cards compared to a lot of the first game in the episode that we saw didn't hold that much possession 18 shots scored two goals on targets but mm, but then again we had more shots we had same on target xg was better possession was better right that's it for today's episode and hopefully Hopefully I'll catch you on for the next one. Thank you for watching.